A Labour PA who tried to legalise euthanasia back in 2013 says the current law is a mess as he launched a parliamentary inquiry into assisted dying. Uh, the Health and Social Care Committee is hearing evidence on the issue. Uh, and I need to be clear, assisted dying does remain illegal here. Toby Young, do you think it's high time now uh, that life moved on and that actually assisted dying is made legal? No, here? I don't. I don't. Um... One of my concerns is that if you make assisted dying legal, um, you make older people very vulnerable to being browbeaten by their greedy children who want to shuffle them off their mortal coils so they can inherit their estates. I don't think that's a huge risk, but I think it's a risk, and I think it's something we have to be mindful of. In addition, I'm worried about people who aren't suffering from terminal diseases whose quality of life hasn't declined to the point where they want to end their lives. Younger people who might think, oh, well, we live in such bleak, pessimistic times, the planet is about to catch fire, we're all going to die in flash floods, uh, I might as well end my life. There's so much doom and gloom, so much catastrophizing amongst younger generations, I'm worried that if you make assisted dying much easier, they may take advantage of it. And that's not so fanciful. In Canada, for instance, if you compare the number of people that took advantage of assisted dying in 2020, 2020 with 2021, it's increased, it increased in the space of one year by 34%. More than 10,000 people uh, took advantage of assisted dying in Canada in 2021. That, that's alarming to me. So you have a fear that it could be abused and that, as what I'm hearing you, is what's driving your kind of uh, resistance to legalising it. But what about, don't you think that the basic premise of actually, it's for me to decide when I've had enough. It's for me to decide when my suffering is too much. That is my right as a human being. Don't you think that trumps, oh, yeah, over there, there might be some random greedy family? Yeah, but, you know, it, 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 there, are, there are only very few circumstances in which if you decide that you want to end your life um, for whatever reason that you can't do it, that you need assistance. I mean, you know, you can Google on the internet um, how to end your life with a combination of drugs, which aren't that difficult to get, particularly on the internet. In some cases, I mean, we have kind of um, unofficial assisted dying takes place in hospitals all the time. Doctors decide in consultation with patients to increase their morphine dose if they're suffering from terminal cancer, knowing that that's likely to accelerate their end. They use various drugs uh, in care homes. To, I mean, it happens. I don't think we need to formally legalise it, because my worry then is that it would happen on a much bigger scale and it would be subject to abuse. Michael? I mean, this is an issue I genuinely sit on the fence on. I mean, I, I don't think we should sort of minimise the problem as it currently stands. I mean, you suggest, why can't we just let people do it outside of the law? And I think the problem there is that it adds sort of this, this, this double whammy of trauma. So I think you have older people, especially, you know, if you're in a couple, one other person is, is terminally ill, you're, you've got this horrible decision to make, they're suffering, they want to die, do I help them die? And then if you make that decision, which I think is an honourable one to make, then you go through the courts. And yes, judges often let people off, but I mean, it, it seems to me that you're compounding trauma on top of trauma. The reason I am on the fence, though, and, and why I think there's a genuine strong argument for euthanasia, but also a genuine strong argument against, is partly for the reasons you've said, sort of you might have nefarious children who want their parents to go so they can inherit from them. But I think there'll probably also be a more subtle pressure, which is that you might have parents or anyone who's sort of terminally chronically ill who starts to think, am I a burden on my family? And they feel guilty if they haven't um, gone for assisted dying. And so my concern would be that you, you, you add a new layer of guilt and stress on people at a time where they're already experiencing quite a lot of guilt and stress. So, I mean, I wonder if there's some sort of technocratic way where sort of we, we can plan this law so well that we get the good bits but not the bad bits. But, yeah, I genuinely think this is a difficult one. Uh, it's not difficult for me. I'm absolutely in favour of this. I think it's inhumane, actually, that people can't uh, have the choice when they want to die in the way that they want to die. One of my viewers, Vince, has just got in touch and said, Michelle, my wife has been in terrible pain uh, and continuous shaking for the last six years. Doctors have been unable uh, to control her problems and she regularly asks me to kill her. She desperately needs to be free of this life, but society insists that she must suffer to the end. I've got to say, Vince, that has just given me goosebumps and you sum up 
you sum up, for me anyway, uh, why this should be legalised to allow people to make their own choice for them and for their loved ones. Jackie says assisted dying, Michelle, will be used to murder people and then they will say, but it's what they wanted. Jackie, people murder people already. They don't need assisted dying laws uh, to enable that. Why would you want uh, people to suffer? Why? Well, you won't let a dog suffer. It wouldn't be murder if you legalised assisted dying. Um, but to, to, to put a hard case to you, Michelle, you think that if someone has decided and they're in sound mind that for whatever reason they want to end their life, why should we stand in their way? It's inhumane to stand in their way. What if that person is a teenager? What if that person is your own teenage child? Well, they're suffering from a depressive episode. Well, they want to end their lives. You think they should be able to? Well, I can speak with um, real world experience and I apologise to my mum because she will be watching this, but my mum will be aware and I've spoken about this. I lived for years, decades, wanting to die, absolutely adamant that I didn't want to be here and it was absolutely horrendous. And if you'd have asked me anything, I would have insisted I was of sound mind. It was an obsession. It dominated every minute of every day of my life. It was awful. And the reason I didn't end my life was because I didn't was, want to cause upset to my mum. But I sat down with my mum and explained to my mum and to my family that I didn't want to be here anymore. I was absolutely resolute in my thinking. And perhaps if this opportunity was available to me, perhaps I might have done so. Uh, we fast forward and now I realise I was ill. I had what has been dis um, uh, diagnosed as suicide ideation and I understand now that a well mind, a well mind doesn't want to die and a well mind doesn't obsess with suicide. Um, so I would try desperately if anyone, and if anyone is in this situation by the way, because mental health does affect everybody, but if you're in that situation, um, you know, I would ask anyone to speak and seek help, even though it's hard because you, you're convinced that you're sane-minded, but now I realise I wasn't. Um, so I understand. I understand what your, your thing is. And I would say to anyone, I would do anything now to live. I would do anything now to live. I've got a little boy. I would do anything to live. And that is a very departure, a strong departure from where I was. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that, because it does divide opinion. It's got uh, a lot of emotion attached to it. And it'll affect some of you uh, at home. You might be watching this and, you know, like Vince, the viewer there, you might be in a situation uh, where the outcome of this really will affect your family. Uh, what do do you think the outcome should be though? Should it be legalised in this country or not? Uh, I'm going to take a quick break. If you're affected by the way of the issues that I've just been describing, do seek help. There's so many people out there uh, that can help us.